Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, it's Footies Market Outlook time. I want to talk about with Team 2, Batch 2 of Footies and Packs this week, the 85 times 10 upgrade packs that we got yesterday, and the Johan Cruyff SBC, which is great value in my opinion. I want to talk about how that's affecting the market and also just the weekend league sell-off in general, right? It is going as expected with a lot of those Premier League cards absolutely dying in price and some of the stuff that is in packs as well right a lot of those tots cards that are in packs as a part of batch two a lot of that stuff is down as well a lot of what we're going to talk about at the beginning of today's video is this 85 times 10 sbc and i want to get right into it because this is why fodder is just all over the place right now in this game this is why all rare golds are like 2k a piece this is why you've got 82 rated cards that are selling for four to thousand coins 83s are like five to six k you know all of that really low tier fodder is up because people are grinding this 85 times 10 and it's so easy to get this done if you have a couple of high rated cards from the an 85 times 10 you can rinse those back into this and try another one until you hit some big players you can just keep rinsing and recycling these into the sbcs if you have enough low rated cards to keep turning in and that's why there's so much demand for those lower rated cards so some of that stuff's actually down a bit right now but again yesterday on sunday and we'll talk about those prices in a second yesterday on sunday we had a few new sbcs specifically the 81 plus player pick and the 85 to 90 upgrade now this one for me no shot i'm touching it 85 to 90 upgrade just save your 82 rated squad that this requires and go do the 82 rated section of the 85 times 10 because you're going to get a 90 plus rated card almost guaranteed in that pack 81 plus player pick comes out it requires seven rares 30 chemistry and gold players so i mean the fact that this requires rares i was really really hoping for something to come out that would not require any rares that it would be some sort of non-rare grind that we could do on the side but that is in fact not what we have at least it only requires seven rares instead of 11 so that helps a little bit but rare golds are up because again people are using those 81 plus player picks to try and get cards to do this 85 plus times 10 i believe but honestly i don't even know if that's the best move right because you're turning in 11 players with seven rares to get one rare hopefully you know an 85 or 86 rated which when you're doing these 85 times 10 which the grind is right now you don't need high rated, you need lower rated. So we'll talk about how there might be a better grind than actually doing upgrade packs. But for right now, I don't even think I'm gonna spend coins on the 81 plus player pick. I'm just gonna keep spending coins where I have to to do this 85 plus times 10. I know it's more expensive, but I got high rated cards that I'm gonna throw back into this. And I think a lot of the fodder right now that is super high is high because of this 85 times 10. And when this goes away later on this week, I believe Wednesday, I believe Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK, this SBC will expire. And I think what you'll see is some of these 81s, 82s, and 83s will go down a little bit. Not a ton because there's still some demand for them, but a little bit. So that's what I'd keep a watch on. Now, right now, as I'm recording this, it's about midnight EST, which I think is like 5 or 6 a.m. UK time. So it's a bit of a late recording today. But Squad Battle Rewards has hit the market on the low tier end. It's supplied the market because, again, a lot of people are playing squad battles to get Adama done, to get Treore done, to do all of those objectives, and that's bringing more pack supply to the market. So what you're seeing is a lot of supply hit tonight. Now, some of the stuff is probably going to bounce back up if you're going to try to make a quick trade or two. Again, you got 84s down here that are back at 7,000 coins. A guy like Jimenez, if they release one good uh, SBC that requires some chemistry, I mean, this guy was 8.5K on multiple points yesterday on Sunday. So maybe a little bit of a club stock uh, potential here. Mondays are usually player SBC card days. We usually get player SBCs on Mondays. So alongside with decent player picks, I think we had the 86 plus player pack last week on Monday. We've had the, uh, we had the uh, La Liga footies player pick. We had the Premier League footies player pick. Maybe today it's Serie A, right? That's another thing I want to talk about today. It seems like we maybe could be moving towards Serie A. We'll talk about that uh, a little bit later on, but maybe you do a club stock, right? Maybe you do buy a couple 83s, 84s if you want to try to quick, quick trade with those today. Because again, I really think that for the next two to three days in this game, it's all about this 85 plus times 10. I guess just two days, right? I think everybody's going after this SBC. I'm going after this SBC. It's just, it's incredible value in the fact that it's repeatable everybody's doing it so that's what's going on the upgrade packs you know 81 plus is decent but i mean i'm not going to mess with those until gold rares drop when this 85 times 10 goes away because until then 
all this stuff is kind of crazy expensive. Gold rares, I think we're looking at right around 2,000 coins a pop for these cards, which is kind of nuts if you think about it. 2K for rares. Um, I mean, these are more expensive than they than they got during like League One tots, Premier League tots. I don't even think rares hit 2K during like Team of the Year, right? So this is the most expensive gold rare cards have been on this game this year, which makes it kind of crazy with all of that demand for those cards right now that they are so expensive. And the same thing for the 81 rated cards, right? I mean, you're, you're telling me that some of these guys are like two to 3,000 coins. Uh, I, I remember uh, Jinyak, who I looked at on Friday, I think it was even like 3,000 coins. It's just crazy to see some of these cards. And I was down a little bit, but I mean, still crazy to see some of these cards as expensive as they are, and it's because of that 85 plus times 10. So again, I honestly think the best way to grind that is it takes more time, but it's through gameplay. It's really through gameplay. If you can get some of these footies memory lanes done, if you can get some of the winning ways and the footies draft days objectives done, I really think those are going to be the best packs that give out just a lot of players, right? Again, prime gold players pack. Um, you get a double 86, a player pick. So you, you get a decent amount of packs, especially from winning ways. You get all those 25K packs. And from the footies memory lane, you get all those 25K packs. I think that's a huge, huge help for stocking your club with a lot of these players. So my opinion would be, instead of doing 81 plus player picks to get cards to do the 85 times 10, go and sit down and do these objectives, right? You can get a lot of these done in like three to four to games three or four games, that's about an hour's worth of a grind. And you might get five to, you know, six, seven, eight packs, 25,000 coin packs with a lot of cards inside of them, which you'll be able to turn in for those SBCs. So that might be the grind that you look at this week, or at least until the 85 times 10 goes away. And again, once this goes away, I expect that lower tier fodder to definitely drop off a bit. Now let's talk icons, man, because they EA Sports actually dropped a banger of an icon SBC yesterday. We knew, we kind of knew that Cruyff was coming, right? And I said, hey, I think it's going to be a 2 to 2.5 mil SBC. EA Sports gave us a great value. Johan Cruyff, 1.6 million coins. It's only 15 squads. And of course, with high rated fodder being so attainable right now through that 85 times 10, this Cruyff, for a lot of people, if you're grinding a game this week and you're getting those 85 times 10 packs ripped, this SBC is not going to be that hard to do, right? 289 rated squads, 288s, 287s, 286s, 285s. Then you go into a couple 84 squads, and then you get down in the 81 rated, then a, a bronze and a silver uh, squad requirement. So not too terrible in, in all honesty. Right now is a great time to grind with those 85 times 10 packs, and there's so many high rated cards you can get out of that pack to grind icon SBC. So that was a W in my opinion from that SBC point of view and perspective as well. Uh, we had a pack supply SBC yesterday for a 25K pack tradable, whatever. And then again, I want to talk about the weekend league sell-off and then we'll focus on you know content through the rest of this week. But as expected, Prem cards are down bad. Prem cards are down bad, right? Take a look at this Richarlison who was like 650K at one point on the weekend. He is now down to 500K flat. There's definitely going to be some of these items that you will be able to fluctuation trade with as the panic selling has just been too much, right? Some of these cards are going to reach lows and they're very rare items. Laporte, right? 202,000 coins, I believe. 200k flat for this Laporte card. Really, really low. Sterling, I'm pretty sure I just saw at uh, like 700 and 700k lows, which is, oh, look at this man. 740 just sitting there for Sterling. So some of these really rare items, you know, I'd keep an eye on. I'd keep an eye on some of the PTG cards like Pat the Glory Firmino who was 1.35 million coins at one point on the weekend. I believe he is now like under 1.2. Yeah, he's 1.06. 1.06 mil for Firmino is pretty nuts. So just watch some of these Prem cards because I do think they will get rare and they will bounce back a little bit. But just focus on the ones that are the most hyped up, of course, the ones that are the most meta and the ones that people actually use inside of this game the most, right? And also what we have to be talking about, and I see people already starting to buy some of these cards up, but people are, are already starting to buy up Serie A links. And I think today, today on Monday, it's going to be a big day for the market because I think if we start to 63K for that, I will take that. Thank you. If we see a Serie A footies player pick today, that's going to really make us think that we could see a Serie A weekend league requirement coming up. So that's one thing I'd really keep my eyes out for today. And I think if we do see that, people are already starting to invest in Syria cards, 
Uh, but I think if we did see that, that would be a huge, huge, um, you would see a lot of the market go up. That's a 40K undercut for De Bruyne just sitting on the market. I know it's freaking August, man, but uh, that's literally profitable. Okay, he was down to 520K at one point today, which I guess that 500K is not too crazy. But you know what? I'm going to make some coins in August. Maybe I'll try him out for a game too, but I'm going to throw him on the transfer list and try to trade with some of these cards as their sell-off is happening and it's happening crazily. So I'll take one of those KDBs and list it up for a little bit of profit later. But that's the kind of undercuts and stuff I'm talking about in this market sell-off that I'd be watching out for. But again, back to the Serie A hype. Seriously, keep an eye on some of these Serie A cards, especially Summer Stars and uh, Path to Glories. There's not that many Path to Glory Serie A cards, like Sanchez is one of them I think about off the top of my head, and Delict actually uh, is a really, really rare item as well. But, uh, you know, I'd keep an eye on those cards. Of course, the Serie A Team of the Season cards as well could be ones to watch out for. Uh, but really looking at some of these items, I think if we see a Serie A footies player pick today on Monday, that would get a lot of people to start investing in Serie A. You've already seen a lot of these items go up, right? Chiellini is going up. Chiesa is going up. So, I mean, that's already something we're starting to see. Chiellini is like 250K, man. 250K, 240. And this guy was like 190 just a couple days ago. Chiesa is up big time as well. So, uh, you know, I'm surprised that the the left back that I just bought, I forget his name at the moment, the Spinozola that I just bought, I'm surprised that he is not more already. Uh, you know, 75,000 coins. I got that one at 63. I'm, I'm surprised he's not going up that much because I feel like that would be a card that a lot of people would want to buy right away. Uh, which is which is interesting to say the least. But just keep your eye on that Serie A stuff because I do think it could do really well on a bounce back if we do have some more Serie A hype because with Dybala and Pinamonti, people are thinking it's going to be a Serie A week this week. So we'll just kind of have to keep our eyes out and ready for that content. But again, let's talk about today on Monday. What am I maybe expecting for today's content Monday in FIFA? I'm really expecting to see that, that player pick, man. I think it's been two weeks in a row we've had the La Liga and then we had the Premier League uh, footies player pick. I think they'll go with another league this week. And it seems like it would be the Serie A. Now, I know we've only had Dybala and Pinamonti. We've had Robin. Uh, and we have had another player SPC as well. I don't know who I'm, I'm missing right now. I think it's just Dybala and the Robin. But another player SPC today could be something that we see as possible as well. And probably a vote, right? Mondays and Wednesdays are usually our footies voting days so i would expect to see another vote today a new player sbc of some source maybe they'll do another one of those dynamic duos maybe another hidden gem maybe a transfers sbc there's a lot of options but i think we will see a player sbc today um on this game now a lot of cards that are in packs as well kept going down i think that was what was expected right that was what was expected take a look at hyunmin sun this is a combination of in packs and also Premier League weekly sell-off, 145,000 coins is what Sun is listed at right now, 152, 155. Uh, I take a look at a guy like Messi, who was over 800K and is now down like 715,000 coins on the market with all that supply just sitting there. Crazy. Neymar's 1.6 mil. Mbappe is 1.3. It's just panic everywhere, man. Selling everywhere, panic everywhere. Not just on uh the Premier League cards but kind of everywhere in general now one thing i noticed yesterday as well is we had that 88 plus star preview pack that was in the game as a preview and that supplied the market big time take a look at this bruno 511,000 coins preview pack takes him all the way down to 395 he's back up to 430 but some of these cards actually released their lows or hit their lows yesterday with a combination of that panic selling and the supply you saw huge drop-offs there uh, of course, the cards that were in packs got absolutely destroyed, but some of the cards that are out of packs followed. So again, just keep an eye on that Serie A stuff today, man, because I feel like people are going to start to maybe buy that up. Of course, expecting Serie A links. And then if you're going to do some 85 times 10s and you have to buy some cards, TBH with these cards dropping with the supply from squad battles, it's not a bad time. It is not a bad time at all to get involved with some of these cards. Let me go index 81 just to show you how much this has dropped off to 12%. This has dropped off from being 386 points down to 320 points. So just keep an eye out for some of that stuff because I will think, or I do think, um, there will be a lot of people waking up and saying, hey, I want to get involved. These are getting cheap at the moment. They're cheaper. I was buying 81s for 3K. Now they're 2K. 
stuff like that. So that 85 times 10 grind though, it's kind of just unmatched right now. I know it takes a lot of coins and it may not be the most efficient for your, you know, you don't like spending that many coins in an upgrade pack. I get it. I 100% understand it, but I would really, really incentivize that upgrade pack grind this week, right? Instead of 81 pluses for the first two or three days, that's where I'd be putting my coins because it just feels like those packs are worth it, right? I'm going to keep an eye on some of these, um, some of these summer stars and stuff that are dropping down like Laporte and all that too, because some of them will bounce back, right? Because they are really meta and a lot of people like to use those cards. So that is what I'll be doing on this market right now as well. I'm not going to finish the weekend league, man. I literally cannot be asked to finish the weekend league. It, the gameplay for me this weekend was so bad and uh, it was, it was a very nice and enjoyable weekend. Uh, not having to try to get my games in after I decided on Saturday that I was not going to finish. So there's that. The Spurs Weekend League is actually going to finish incomplete, which it is what it is. But that's just the state of things right now for the TFA on this game. So again, a little bit of a roundup. Today on Monday, player SBC, some sort of upgrade pack on new player votes. Uh, and that's, I think, the content that we should, should see today. Maybe a player pick, like a Serie A player pick. Later on throughout the week this week, I mean, man, probably more upgrade packs. They might release another Icon Moments SBC, not in a player, but as in an upgrade. Um, I'm really curious to see the player SBCs that they come out with because we've had Dybala, we've had Robin, two bangers, right? Two bangers of player SBCs in this last week. Um, we only have one objective player at the moment. So there's, again, I really was thinking that we get another objective player on the weekend. We have not yet. So I'm really hoping for something else coming out on that section of the game, another player to grind, and then hopefully some big time player SBCs coming out this week too. And um, yeah, more upgrade packs, right? 86 plus player picks, 85 plus player picks, uh, 87 plus times three, right? Rock us with one of those packs, you know, because that'd be something that we could put some of our higher rated fodder into um, later on. Now, when the 85 times 10 goes away, this 40s player pick is gonna be the next grind, but at least right now, the uh, 85 times 10, again, I keep saying it, but it really is the grind right now. That's what I'd be doing if I were you guys. And that's where my fodder be going. So until that goes away on Wednesday, that's where you're going to see me doing upgrade pack wise. Maybe the occasional 81 plus player pick. Uh, but I, why? Just right, right? Just why? Put your rares into the 85 times 10 just because they're so good. So that's kind of the state of the game right now at the moment. Uh, grinding drafts, again, grinding gameplay, grinding objectives. There's a lot to do in that state as well. There's a lot to do in FIFA right now. If you want to put the work in, if you want to put the effort in, there's a lot you can do. There's a lot you can do to help your club. And it's just very grindable for good quality content at the stage of the game. There's not too much more we can ask for. I have my squad battle rewards. I'll open them later, whatever. I don't expect anything. Um, I did, oh shoot, one quick update. I packed myself a Casemiro tonight from a 7.5K pack. Um, and I thought I had sold it at 40K, but I guess I did not. But that's nice. That's a nice 40,000 coins just kind of out of nowhere on the Casemiro. So we will take that one. Hopefully my KDB didn't get undercut trading in August, 539, 530. So I'll probably wait until tomorrow to sell that, hopefully on an upswing. But that's kind of what we're talking about today, boys. That's the market outlook for this week, right? It's probably going to be a very similar week to what we had two weeks ago for the first week of batch one of footies. The first week of batch one, if you will, all these batches are in two weeks. So again, we're going to have all these TOTS cards and packs this week and next week before we get Summer Stars and Path to Glories back out into packs and re-release. So that's the video for today, boys. That's the Market Outlook. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.